Hey y'all, it's me in my mirror. I just wanted to talk about dark circles. It's like one of the biggest problems that women face when it comes to their skin. Um, and a lot of men also, and men could, you know, maybe watch a video or two on how to cover dark circles and cover their dark circles too. I'm gonna talk about covering your dark circles using red because red counteracts blue. It's pretty basic color wheel technology. So what I'm gonna do is zoom in close here for you to see my dark circles. Oh, they're lovely. I'm going to tap. You know what? I'm not gonna do it that way. Actually, I'm going to, I'm a beginner. Okay, give me a break. I'm going to put this red lipstick on the back of my hand. I think I'm going to add just a tiny bit of a serum a facial serum but you could use a moisturizer or whatever and I'm just gonna put it right over that just so it's not so dry and cakey when I get it under my eyes probably shouldn't have got the lipstick in mixed in with yeah uh, so yeah I'm gonna take this and then I'm just gonna use my finger I mean brushes I know brushes 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 people are always trying to sell you brushes your fingers work just fine. Anywho, so I'm gonna rub that around till it gets on my finger. And then I'm going to tap, tap, tap it in the corner. We're gonna do like a comparison eye thing here. I'm not thinking that's enough red, honestly. Let's do a little bit more. I'm just gonna tap it right on here, right out of the gate. Just all along where it's blue. And mine's real blue in the inner corner right here. And then it's all blue. Darn those wrinkles. Those did not used to be there. I'm not really sure where those came from exactly. <laughs> Had a couple birthdays, I guess. I think it's from blowing out birthday candles because you go like this. And then you get these wrinkles around your lips. I think that's what caused it. So the more birthdays you have, the more candles you blow out, the more wrinkles you're gonna have around your face. Now the ones in your eye, I don't know. So I'm just gonna take my foundation. You can use your concealer, whatever. I like this because it's super liquidy and it's a great color for me. And I'm just going to dab that now over the red, like so, pat it in real good. With my, oh great, my dog's getting ready to bite a fly and knock over my mirror in like two seconds. And then it's just gonna be me without my mirror. Ah, okay. So, trying to get a good look at it. It's hard to tell yet. Okay, so then the other side, I'm just going to use a little foundation without the red. Use a finger that doesn't have any red on it. And I'm just going to put this. I got too much. So I'm going to try to spread it around. You want to make sure you obviously cover up the red as much as you can. There. I don't know how well that looks in this. In this. Well, shoot. I've got all this red under my, in my eyeliner too. Probably should have taken that off. Anyway, I think you can see the difference a little bit. I think the bluer your circles are, the more uh, the red will counteract them. Luckily, mine aren't super dark or super blue, so. But anyway, I use the red because I think it counteracts the blue. What do you guys think? Let me know. Bye.